What's up guys, I'm today's Mac and in this video we're going to do an app review of the Minecraft Pocket Edition version 0.3.0 for iPad. So let's get started. Today's Mac. So this game has been out for a while but I have just recently bought it for my iPad. It is 4 dollars for iPad if you're wondering or you can get the free version but there isn't as many good features on that. So basically what Minecraft is if if you don't know is just a game where you can basically do anything you want. Once you create a world and gather materials you can just let your mind or imagination run wild with building stuff because there's literally no limit to what you can build. Down here I have a mine and that goes really far down and this is my house out here. It's also protected by this fence and all of this. And then if you go down here you've basically got a massive world where you can just explore and build on any of this you want. So what the aim of the game really is, even though there isn't an aim of the game, is to gather materials and just build what you want. You gather materials by just breaking them on here, I'll just show you. You'll just break a piece of dirt and then gather the block and then you've got that material. And you can also craft materials like torches with coal and other stuff so this is also my house on water there's lots of worlds what you get some of them are snowy some of them are icy and all that and also there's two modes the first mode is survival mode which I'm playing which basically you have to build to survive because you've got these little health hearts and if they run out you die and then you lose all your materials you can die by getting hit by these zombies here. If they touch you, you lose health. But you can kill them if you have a sword or any other weapon. They're quite easy to kill, but if they touch you, you will lose health and die. And then there's creative mode, where you have unlimited resources and you can just build whatever you want on the world. There's no zombies, and also you can fly... To get a bird's eye view of what you're doing. So this this is my world on Minecraft. I'm just going to show you what happens when you start a new world. So you start a new world. You create a new. I'll just call it review world. I don't even think I spelled review right. And I'll go on survival mode just to show you. And then it generates your world, which is going to be basically your whole imagination. You can do whatever you want. And to start off, all you'll have is shears, bricks and glass. So you need to find wood to make a wooden pickaxe. You can just get wood by doing this. And once you've made a wooden pickaxe, you can get stones. Once you've made a stone pickaxe, you can start really building your house and getting coal and everything you need. The worlds are pretty big. Well, they look pretty big when you start off, but once you start playing, you sort of get used to it and it's not that big anymore. So, yeah, you can just build your house if you want, just out of bricks. Just build a quick one here, go inside, and then you just build that up. So, Minecraft is really addictive, and if I show you one of the creative modes, I'll just call it that. And then we'll see, I'll just basically show you what Creative World is. So this is Creative World, it doesn't get dark on this one either, so you don't have to worry about zombies getting you, because there is no zombies. And you've also got unlimited resources, you've got unlimited spade, pickaxe, axe, sword, etc, wooden planks, ladders, torches, wool, bookshelves crafting tables which you can't actually use on the creative mode because you've already got everything so there's no point in using them 
the world isn't any different except for there's no zombies and it doesn't get dark and you can just build whatever you want with what you've got there's some sugar you can also start your own sugar farm if you do if you get rid of this it will you'll get sugar and then that will grow again so you can make farms and stuff um, the only downside to Minecraft Pocket Edition, this isn't the other Minecrafts for PC and Xbox, that you don't get all the stuff when you first get it, because it hasn't been fully updated. It was fully updated for Xbox when that first came out, um, and that got all of the features what PC had. But when you get it for iPad, it's not fully updated, so you don't have all the features that you could have on the Xbox. Like you don't have furnaces, you don't have creepers, and you don't have fire, and you don't have lots of other stuff. You also can't mine diamond, gold. You can on, you can't even iron, mine iron on the on um, the iPad because it's not updated. But it's expected to get an update in June, and hopefully it will be a big one. So like I said, if you want to buy this from the App Store, it's four ninety nine to buy. Uh, or you can get the light version, but I would recommend this. It's definitely worth the money getting, even though it is quite expensive. Once you get it, you will be really addictive into Minecraft. And you just won't stop playing it. This is basically the only game I've played for ages on my iPad. I haven't played any other games. And I'm loving it so far. I'm also going to start doing a Let's Play series, so look out for that. So I'm today's Mac and this is my app review of Minecraft Pocket Edition. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.